Many studies like this with different virus, viruses have shown what the general program of virus entry look, looks like. The virus entry and infection always starts with the virus binding to the cell surface. It binds to receptors, that is cell surface components, which serve as binding sites for the virus and after binding typically the viral particle starts to move around on the surface laterally along the membrane. During this time already um, the virus induces signals um, by activating the cell's own signaling pathways and um, for in this way the virus prepares the cell for the invasion. And one of the things that then typically happens is that the viral particle is internalized by different mechanisms of endocytosis. There are some virus families which are able to penetrate, go straight through the plasma membrane without endocytosis, but the majority are endocytosed first. The endocytic vesicles that are formed carry the virus into a secondary organelle inside the cell. In the case of Semliki forest virus, this would have been an early endosome. And here, then, the penetration of the capsid into the cytosol is triggered by the conditions in this compartment. The next step, once the virus has made it all the way to the cytosol, is movement into the, the location where uncoating and replication of the virus can take place. For most DNA viruses, that involves transport along microtubules to the nucleus and to the nuclear pore complex and then through different mechanisms the genome can be <coughs> transported through the nuclear pore into the nucleus and uh, then uncoated in the process. Viruses that replicate in the cytosol have different other locations where they are moved. So as you look at this whole pathway you can see that the, there's a whole program of steps one consecutive to the other resulting finally in the transport of the genome into a specific location. That's also then where mostly the final uncoating of the genome takes place.